want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. You want to support me? Go to TikTok. Follow me at Trenches News 3837. Yo! It's your boy Trenches News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all love support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the Mod Squad. If you ain't following my mods, you can follow the ads at the end of this video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless, man. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the, tr the elderly, the neutrons, and the civilians, man. Happy Saturday to everybody, man. I hope everybody's safe. Hey, we got two stories. We got No Limit Lil Wet versus KTS affiliate, man. Jail fight. Lil Wet, this is the best fight that I've seen so far this year, man. Shout out to the Chirac boys who be getting the um for you, first of all. Hey, and then we got Lil Dirk. We got Lil Dirk on Power Book, man. So, you know, I, give me, I talk about him when it's bad. I got to talk about him when it's good, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button so this video can get around. First story we're going to get into is No Limit Lil Wet, man. No Limit Lil Wet looked like he was on Division 5 and 6, and he got, got into a fight, and his um fight was FOIA. That's Freedom of Information Act. It was FOIA, and um that's what they got back, man, the fight. This is one of the best fights that I seen in jail. Now, to all the people who be like, I thought you was against the um, violence. Hey, look, I'd rather them fight any day than kill each other out on the streets. And, and, and I feel like if they can kick it inside the jail, then they could kick it out on the streets. You know what I'm saying? But I'd rather them fight. And this fight right here, what I was trying to tell Swag De Niro, this is what I'm talking about when I say fight. This is what I'm talking about. Now, it did at first look like No Limit Lil Wet was dodging some smoke. You know, he had a crate in his hand. The guard had came in, took the crate. The guards ain't shit, though. The guards supposed to protect, and they wasn't protecting at all. The guard came, grabbed the crate, and went on about his business. No Limit Lil Wet was in the corner. Looked like he was backed up like a raccoon, and dude was in the, um in front of him. Kept on like, rah, rah, what's up, what's up? Dude looked like he wanted all the smoke. So the guard walking up the stairs, and No Limit Lil Wet came from out the, the little corner, and, and pulled up his pants and squared up with him. And soon when he had faked the left, dude had fell for it. And he came around with the white. Bang! Put him on his pockets. I thought it was get him some milk. Finish him. No, dude jumped right back up, man. Wrestled with Lil Wet, you know. Wrestled with Lil Wet. And then, you know, he 12 Lil Wet, man. Like like um Hulk Hogan, you hear me? And that's what I pay a hundred dollars for. That's what I'm talking about. When you say DJU, when you get on DJU and say, I want to box this person for some money, that's what I want to see. When Swag the Nero, Lil Risa, or anybody talking about fight, that's what I want to see. I rather them fight than kill each other. But that's no limit. Lil Wet fight is the one of the best videos fights that I seen from Cook County Jail, man. The, even the big dudes, they needed help. It was crowds of people running up with them. No, nah, it was just Lil Wedding Dude, man, and they handled it. I, I don't know how the ending, but I know they handled it. You know what I'm saying? They hand, they got all whatever they needed to off their chest, man. Shout out to Lil Wet, man. Lil Wet and copped out the feds for five years, so he'll be back in a, probably a year and some change. Y'all see Lil Wet, he'll get interviewed hopefully about that and laugh about it, man. You grow up. Hopefully he grow up more in the jail and come out thinking way more smarter than he was, you know. But we're going to get into Lil Dirk next, man. Lil Dirk. Second, man, we got to get into Lil Dirk, man. Shout out to Lil Dirk. Big, he doing the big things, man. Even though, you know, a lot of us disagree with the music that he keep on putting out, you know. But that's how that's how he feeding his family, you know. That's that's the, that's how he feeding his family. But Lil Dirk, he, he said that he ain't no gang member no more. He a Muslim and, you know, he a man before anything. But not only that, man. He broke barriers that people from our trenches don't do it. Chance the Rapper did it. He come from the Chatham, a 79th area, and he made history um, with his color book and all the rest of his albums and his number three hat. Like, he broke records, Grammys. Lil Durk did the same, but Lil Durk, he did, he won him a Grammy from the trenches. Like, he was the first person in drill rapping about killing that got a Grammy, really. That did, that did get a Grammy. You know, they got songs with Drake and J. Cole now. 
You know, that's why I, that's why I be so hard on Lil Dirt because I be like, damn, bro, you got all these millions and you gonna drag it for some fifty dollar niggas, some niggas who only want some Amiris and be in the trenches with guns and shit on the internet. Like, nah, we ain't gonna drag our bag like that. We ain't gonna let it go like that. But Lil Dirk was on Power, man. Power, um, Power Book, and um, this the second, um, this the second episode that I seen him on, and um. Yeah, he decent to acting. He just gotta, he just gotta polish it up. But he decent, bro. Come from where we come from, no acting school, just acting yourself. But the way he was holding that gun, man, when they spun on the ops, Dirk, man, you ain't. Hey, hey, look, Dirk, you was supposed to, you, you was supposed to play that role well, Dirk, ain't you, Mister Spinning in Hell, catching track hawks? You supposed to did that role well, man. You know we ain't talking about no violence. We talking about on the acting. I'm just saying, I was a little bit disappointed the way Lil Dirk damn near blew off his hand holding that gun. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Lil Dirk, man. Hey, he doing big things. I know OTFD thing will be proud of him because OTFD thing a big fan of 50 Cent. So I know he'll be proud of Lil Dirk. His brother is doing a, um on a TV show with him and, you know, j just breaking records all overseas, Dubai, doing shows, you know what I'm talking about, like from the trenches. Um... Can't beat that in life, man. And you got to take advantage of your blessings, man. You can't lose your blessings that God gave to you for another person who really don't care about nothing that's blessed or none of that. They don't care about nothing. They satisfied with what they satisfied to. So, you know, sometimes you got to take all that in consideration, man. Hey, but last but not least, man, I want to talk about this 16-year-old who got shot, man, was wrestling with the police over a gun. They said the po the, the 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 boy the sixteen year old was arguing with the police that he was licensed to carry the whole time he's sixteen years old. Then the police bail out, try to get the gun from him. they wrestling. He shoot the well. The police squeezed the gun, man, because I'm pretty sure he ain't have his hand on the trigger. Or he probably could have, you know what I'm saying? But he ended up shooting himself and the police, you know what I'm saying? So he going to jail for attempt on a police officer at sixteen and. You know what I'm talking about? Resisting and all the good shit and the gun. You know? Like, it's crazy, man. The kids out here, they act like this life is Grand Theft Auto for real, man. Y'all got to stop that, bro. Y'all y'all got to stop throwing y'all life away like this, bro. I see I see over the, um, like, the bloggers now, they starting to record the kids. They they tired of paying the, the, the big niggas on the block now, the, the $1,000 or $2,000 or whatever they get, $500. They going to get the shorties who going to do it for free, who just want to show on the internet they guns and, and that they like that, man. Like, it's crazy, bro. But just think about it. What if it was your kid, man? But this Trenches News, man. My man is my nine. I will be going live later. Um, You want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. That's N-E-N-E-M-A-R-I-E-3-7 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book, man. Hey, stay safe on this Saturday, man. One of the most deadliest parts of the weekend, man. People is dying and, and they getting away. The police can't protect you. Ain't no more shot spotter. Uh, none of that. Thanks to Mayor Brandon Johnson, man. Hey, my man is my nine, y'all. Make sure y'all go and run up Made Media Magazine page. Subscribe to his channel. I'm out.